Throughout the course of a long and storied career, Ellen Post Foster's overall body of work continues to have a huge impact, not only on the Beaver Creek Ski School, but on skiing professionals across the state. Over the years, she has touched the lives of young people in our sport, as well as the people who coach them. While her instructional books and articles have educated and inspired instructors in Colorado and nationwide. Ellen first came to Colorado in 1977 to compete in an international freestyle event in Winter Park after returning from filming with Warren Miller in the movie In Search of Skiing. After that, she has called Colorado home ever since. Well, Ellen the student was like somebody always after a goal that she wanted to achieve. So mainly she came to Italy to my camps in Valsinales uh, because she wanted to be a better, the best ballet skier. A world-class freestyle competitor, Ellen was named Rookie of the Year in 1975 for finishing second overall on the Women's Professional Freestyle Tour. She won an event in each discipline, aerials, ballet, moguls, and the combined, all within a single year. And I just can't tell you how crazy good that is. In 1976, Ellen placed second overall in ballet on the Colgate World Trophy Women's Ski Tour and won the combined event in Rochelle, Germany. Ellen was just an amazing skier, graceful, beautiful, flawless with her execution. And so she was a great example for me as an athlete. She was a great example for me as a coach. But then her writing as well, that she took, took it to that next level. She was always learning and always sharing and, and, and wanted to spread what she knew uh, to everybody. In 1980, she became the youngest member of the PSIA demo team. During her eight-year stint on the team, she devoted herself to helping young skiers excel and played an invaluable role in the inception and formation of the U.S. Ski Association's Youth Ski League. Ellen's uh, success on the demo team would be the easiest way to describe it is her easygoing attitude. Um, you spend five minutes with Ellen, you already want to be a better person, a better skier. Um, you don't want to let her down. So her, her success on the demo team, I think, uh, has a lot to do with her personality and her likability. Um, just a great person to be around and, and you always want to be a better skier when you're with her. She cares about everybody she skis with. She wants them to succeed. It's never about her. It's always about them improving their understanding or their knowledge or their performance. It's, it's always her giving to them. Ellen is also a revered clinician, coach, and author who has been instrumental in the way ski instructors understand and teach skiing. She is known for her in-depth knowledge of technique and her articulate leadership and writing style. Her 1996 award-winning book, Skiing and the Art of Carving, was the definitive book of its time on ski instruction on how to maximize performance on today's shape skis. Well, on a personal level, when I was up and coming, when I first became, when I decided that this was going to be a full-time career, I mean, her book that she did with Jay Evans was, I mean, how to carve a ski, how to understand how uh, modern ski technology is going to change the industry. She has had a huge impact in the snow sports industry through her writing because she's been a key writer, a key author in a large majority of the manuals that have most recently have come out in PSIA ASI. And without her continuity and education and the way in which she understands to deliver it to snow sports instructors, I don't think those resources would be as valuable as they are. Over Ellen's career as an educator, she has helped to create the current foundation, knowledge, and understanding of the snow sports education field. Most recently, she co-authored PSIA's Alpine Technical Manual and the PSIA AASI Teaching Snow Sports Manual. As a result of her significant impact on ski sport education, Ellen was honored with the PSIA AASI Award for Education Excellence in 2015, while also being inducted in the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame in 2016. None of Ellen's lifetime efforts to growing our sport were done with personal gain in mind. It is her selflessness, humbleness, and desire to see the entire industry benefit from her offerings that makes her such a special person and a Hall of Famer. We are pleased to welcome Ellen Post Foster to the Colorado Snow Sports Hall of Fame as an honored member 
the class of 2020.